Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help Good morning, my name is Ralph Rudix. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back radio show. Let's all take some small steps in life today. This video is part of a uh, motivational video collection of different speeches I have given mainly at public meetings uh, and uh, in in different formats. And uh, I talk about how success may seem sudden, but it is a result of small, often unnoticeable, incremental steps. If any of those steps did not take place, success would not have been achieved at all in the first place. Watch this video and listen to this speech that I broadcasted on the uh, Take Your Life Back Today show. Too many success seems to come suddenly in their life. When you observe others and what they have achieved, you usually don't appreciate what is taken uh, how long it has taken uh, them to get to where they are. Ultimately, in failing to do so, Uh, They fail to learn what it would take for you to attain the same level of achievement and success. But if you take the time to truly think about it, you will find that success is usually only a small step away. Yet despite uh, all that, uh, it sometimes eludes most people. It always seems so near and yet so far. Let me illustrate what I mean with this short story about uh, my military past. a part of my military training in the Marines was given uh, in a very demanding way by demanding assignments. We were put in groups uh, of 10 and taken to some unknown location far in the bush. After a few days of camping there and doing some military maneuvers, we were told to head back to the base. Only this time, uh, we wouldn't be driven back. We would have to hike back. We, only, uh, we had only a few things to carry, a liter of water, maybe uh, for the whole trip, and an M16 rifle with one round of ammunition. So we started off the day at uh, sunset walking through the thick bush because we were using a uh, uh, campus, um, or I should say compass for direction. We had to walk in a straight line back to the base. Any slight deviation from the path, and we would uh, uh, definitely have gotten lost. That meant whatever obstacle we encountered on the way had to be Uh, overcome by us. The straight line had to be maintained at all costs. Worse still, we had no light. We were basically walking blind in a moonless night. So you could see where your next step was going to land. But we had to walk fast. Our deadline was 12 noon the next day to be at the base, or else we would have failed the assignment. So we walked through the night. There was no time for fear, no time for doubt. We had to do what we had to do. Our future depended on it. Just take it one step at a time. We were always taught and trained. As I walked through the unknown and scary world, one one thought kept coming uh, through my mind. It was just take one step at a time. Doesn't uh, worry about what will happen later. Just think about each step, one uh, small step at a time to succeed in life. That was the idea and uh, I hung on to it. So uh, with that, I found with some courage to get going, we moved on through grass as tall as giraffes and tough uh, different terrains. Our hands were pierced, bruised, and sliced as we searched around to dark to make a path to go through. We conquered what seemed to be endless mountains on the way. The rocks were so hard on our tired feet, 
as though we had no boots on. Our legs cried for mercy from effort of climbing up those uh, steep slopes. We had to keep moving small steps to succeed and accomplish our mission. Every now and then, uh, then, a dim light would appear in the distance, offering some hope to find a village and get some water to replenish our fast depleting reserves, only to disappear as we got closer. It was not on our route. Or perhaps we had some mass delusion. Take a break if you must, but don't ever give up. Finally, we would go no further. The pain and the fatigue was unbearable. We had to catch a nap. It was past midnight, one hour of sleep, all cuddled up like puppies for warmth, and then we moved on. Soon the morning came, but there was no time to appreciate the sunrise. Our water was all gone, and the day brought it um, unbearable heat and nasty, irritating little flies with uh, the intent on getting into our nose and our ears. It was so hard you could uh, feel the heat embracing your face. We were getting dehydrated by now. It was so bad you could eat the salt off your face. All the sweat had dried up. Had it been any other day, I would have laughed out loud and seeing everyone walking uh, uh, with white powder on their face. But right then, my tongue was sticking to the roof of my mouth and laughing was just almost impossible, very difficult to even imagine. By now, everyone was wishing that they had uh, not had to carry that M16. It seemed to have gained an extra five pounds since we had begun. The straps had slowly dug into the flesh across our shoulders and the back. Every step was accompanied by some pain in one part of our body or other. Every part of our body was crying out for attention, but we had to move on, small steps to succeed. By mid-morning, we were utterly exhausted. Some dragged their rifles behind them like unwanted tails. Others had taken off all they could for the heat. We were as dry and shriveled as prunes. We were uh, a a sight for uh, uh, sore eyes, but right then, more about the survival than dignity. Finally there, finally a few minutes to midnight, uh, midday, we arrived at the base. Only then did I notice how bad I smelled. I had no idea I could stink so bad, but first things first, despite the smell, water, food, and a bath in order. The journey of a thousand miles. So you see, we took small steps to succeed to accomplish our mission. Together, they added up to hundreds of thousands of small steps. But we might have chosen not to take that first step had we thought about that. We might have stopped at that point along the way. That would have meant that we would not have gotten to our destination. There were also obstacles along the way, but with each small step, they were overcome. There was frustrations, fears, and uncertainties, but with each small step, they were crushed. There was hardships and dangers, but with each small step and focus on the desired destination, they were conquered. So you see, success is no mystery. It takes one small step to succeed. Because as Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu Su, a journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. Have you taken one step today? Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Remember to be good to yourselves and to be good to other people. A simple smile to a total stranger can change their life forever. And guess what? It could even help change your life. May God bless you. May God bless America. And remember one step at a time. Remember that so clearly. One step at a time, and also remember God loves you. Take good care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you on the next episode tomorrow. Take good care of yourself. God loves you. God God loves you. Take good care. Bye-bye. The show is over, but your life starts today Taking back your life's the only way Keep faith, stay positive, push through Take back your life, it starts with you Alcohol and drugs can't control your life Let go of the negative and the strife Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way The show is over, but your life starts today Call Ralph Free Rick at 1-844-405-HELP. 
That's 1-844-405-HELP We hope you love the show today and tune in next time Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich Yeah Don't forget to remember, God loves each and every one of you. Take small steps in life. Even if the journey seems like a million steps, if you take one at a time, you will get there. May God bless you and talk to you tomorrow. Take care.